on this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice. Summer is here. The kids will be out of school, and with that comes vacations, camps, and more chances for injury. We'll talk to a pediatrician to let you know what parents should be keeping in mind this summer season to keep their kids safe and what happens if your child is injured while away from home. We'll talk about how Greenway Health is helping to make sure the child's electronic health records is wherever they are with your family. This is Putting Possibility into Practice, and it starts right now. I'm Joe Agostinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and welcome to this episode of our podcast, Putting Possibility into Practice. It is indeed the summer season, and I am happy on this episode to be joined by Mike Jordan, a pediatrician at East Lake Pediatrics. And Dr. Jordan, I would imagine with summertime here, your office uh, may get a little busier. Yeah, that's right. Summertime is time for... uh you know, family vacations and fun, but it's also uh, school physical time, and uh, that heats up uh, really quick and uh, keeps us busy for sure. And for those listeners who may not uh, recall, you have been on the podcast before, but why don't you, uh, just a brief background on East Lake Pediatrics and where you guys are located. Yeah, East Lake Pediatrics is a practice I started in 2004, and um, we are in uh, North Pinellas County and South Pasco in Palm Harbor, Trinity areas. Um, and um, we have uh, three locations with um, eight providers and uh, been seeing patients, like I said, since 2004, and summertime is when we start uh, heating up for school physicals. Um, We just recently uh, expanded one of our locations, uh, and that's uh, open now and ready for um, business for uh, a new providers that we've hired, and that will be uh, starting in August. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the uh, on the new location. And you, you hit on the point there, uh, it is indeed the summertime, and uh, we don't want to rush summer vacation for those uh, kids who may be out of school already. Um, but, um, you know, obviously over the summer for families, a lot to do, a lot more free time with children. They're outside on the playground. They're at summer camps. They're uh, possibly away from home and out of town on, on, on family vacations and summer camps, and obviously with sports seasons in full swings in some areas of our country. What types of injuries do you commonly see throughout the summer that you may not see as often, you know, during the rest of the year? Well, I think there's a definite uptick in things like um, sunburns from over sun exposure and not uh, utilizing uh, um the sunscreen uh, effectively, you know, typically we work, want our kids to be in like SPF 30 or higher, uh, and they need to apply that quite frequently. You know, it, it's always better to be quite liberal with the usage of the sunscreen when you're out in the sun, especially here in Florida. So, you know, you should put it on every couple of hours or after you get out of the water, if you've been swimming, if you've been sweating a lot out in the heat, because you can get some pretty significant burns if you're not careful and not paying attention. And, you know, kids are out running around having fun. They're usually not worried about the consequences of not having adequate sunscreen on. So if they don't have that or if they're not wearing, you know, protective sun clothes like hats and and sun uh, SPF shirts that are um, tight-knit, they can end up, you know, get into some significant trouble with uh, some certainly uncomfortable sunburns, if not worse. And then probably the other thing we'll see is is an in- increase in orthopedic injuries where, you know, kids are out running around, they're playing, they're getting involved in, like you said, sports or camps where they may be at higher risk for falls or um, getting injured. And so um, sprained ankles and fractures are things that we'll, uh, either we'll see or be uh, seen in the emergency department this time of year. And why don't you refresh our uh, listeners one way that you partner with Greenway Health is uh, with the electronic health records, correct? That's right. Yeah, we have uh, EHR and practice management. We also have practice analytics and several of their other uh, platforms. On the EHR platform, so if I am on a family vacation and I'm the parent of a child who gets injured and it is more of the orthopedic nature how can I ensure, um, if I'm a patient of yours, that I still will have my child's medical information right at my fingertips, given the uh, solutions that you have through Greenway? 
Well, you know, as long as you have um, set up a, a portal account with us, then they have access to their health records at, and um, can, as long as they have an internet connection, they can uh, grab them either from their phone or from a, a desktop or laptop PC. Um, and those are always helpful, um, you know, in case you're away from uh, the office and there's a question, have, are they up to date on their tetanus shot, for instance, if they got cut or something, then you can, you know, access those records and and see where they're at as far as their vaccine status and share that with whoever the provider is that may be uh, caring for them away from home. And are there things that parents should, when you talk about the patient portal and talk about the, 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 the records of their children, are there things that parents should do um, before the summer season or, you know, maybe now before they're going on summer vacation or if camps haven't started yet? Is there something that they should do in regards to preparation to make sure everything is indeed up to date working with their provider? Yeah, well, we always recommend that they come in and get a full um, uh, physical prior to going to camp, and a lot of camps will recommend that and require that. Um, so that way we can run through uh, their vaccine status, make sure they're up to date, check their height, weight, and, and make sure that they're uh, generally healthy enough to participate in some of the activities as they have some camps now that are, you know, pretty aggressive with some of the things that they offer where kids can be um, doing all kinds of fun things, uh, but sometimes end up with a little bit higher risk of getting an injury or, or requiring some health care at some point. And um, it's always important to make sure that records are up to date and that they have an access to their portal and that they've uh, secured their password and make sure that they know how to get in. Um, you know, because sometimes, you know, during the year, you're not thinking about it, you know, as human nature is, oh, okay, I'll look at that no another time, and then you forget your password or how to log in and stuff like that. So it's always good to at least make sure you run through that before your kids are dropped off at camp. And advice for other pediatrician and, and practices who may be considering utilizing a, a patient portal through Greenway and, and patient messaging, how has your experience been with those, um, you know, in cases where, uh, increasing the patient engagement and and how parents care for their children. What would you what would you let them know uh, if they're considering incorporating that technology into their practice? Well, I think it's helpful that you know they, they're able to access that information, so that certainly can eliminate the unnecessary phone calls or um, logistics of getting information that may be already available to them if if the patients just utilize the or if they had the um, technology to provide it for them. Um, you know, the, the other thing is that it allows us to um, uh, send refills, you know, of medication. So if we have their information there and they can contact us and, and, and request like a medication refill or they forgot their medicine, they can do that on the portal. And that doesn't really bog down our front office with phone calls that are that could be easily handled within the electronics of the system. And you bring up an interesting point there in regards to the portal too, and I didn't even think of it that way. Are there are there times where you know you would get a call or somebody through the portal would request some type of a refill or replacement in medication because they went away to camp and forgot something that they needed? Yeah, I mean the portal is great because they can, um, and the way you can set it up to to um, kind of um, guide the messages where you, they need to go, but they can contact the office, you know, if they're out of the country or out of the state or, you know, in the middle of the night, if they have a non-urgent issue and say, hey, you know, I spilled my medicine, I need it, can you refill it here? Um, and those are things that can, can be handled electronically um, that don't have to interrupt the daily flow of work. And, and so that improves your, obviously, your efficiency if you're not bogged down with kind of handling every single call that comes through because of, you know, things that happen in the summertime that don't usually happen maybe throughout most of the year. And I said we weren't going to rush summer vacation as most mm -hmm. kids are just about beginning, but let's rush summer vacation. So let's sure. pretend we're getting towards the end of summer vacation and it's it's physical time and getting back to school and, and maybe school sports. Do you, you utilize uh, patient messaging or other outreach materials to patients uh, to make sure that their kids are prepared and, hey, you know, make sure you book an appointment now? And if so, when is the timing that folks should um, start planning that back-to-school preparation when it comes to medical treatments for their children? 
Yeah, so the time is really yesterday, actually, you know, because this is the time when kids are gone and, you know, the school's out and no one's really thinking about coming in for their physicals. But when you wait towards the end of summer, it's when everyone's procrastinated and it becomes quite busy in the office. And so we, what we try and do is we utilize formulas that we have in practice analytics and some programs that we've written to um, identify those patients that are in need of a physical and then we gather that demographic information and then utilize that to encourage them to come in now. And we start that in April, May, so we can start filling up slots for uh, June and July. And August 10th and 12th is when schools start here. And so the last half of July and for certainly the first part of August can get really hectic with people needing their vaccines and their physicals to get back into school. So. I know you don't want to rush summer vacation, but I tell you what, coming in here and getting your physical done in June is a whole lot better than coming in and getting it in August and getting in line with everyone else who's forgotten. So in addition to patient engagement tools, an interesting point you bring up is is that use of practice analytics and, and to target patients to ensure that they are uh, getting the care they need before they go back to school, so even for providers who may not have incorporated analytics into their uh, practice yet, uh, uh, another great idea for uh, for ways to uh, increase the amount of uh, patient traffic as we uh, head back into schools and, and other times of the year, correct? Absolutely. You know, it's, it's, we can do that for all sorts of things, and we do it all year round is, you know, you know, anyone that's not been caught by a recall or something, we can fill those gaps with patients that may have missed their well visit. So we, we do our best to try and get everyone in throughout the year, but especially in the summertime is when it's really helpful because we don't have as many sick patients. You know, the, the, the colds and the flus and all those things aren't really circulating as much now. So we have a lot more availability to handle, um, uh, you know, well visits and take the time to get those things done. Uh, when In the wintertime, you're also dealing with lots of kids who are sick and things like that. Sounds great. Well, I want to uh, thank you for taking the time to uh, join me today on this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice. As always, we uh, enjoy having you on the show. Congrats on the new location, and we'll see if we can uh, get together uh, after that location's open to uh, to showcase the continued growth of uh, East Lake Pediatrics. That's great. I always uh, appreciate you thinking of me, and I, and I enjoy coming on. Have a great, great summer. You too. That's Dr. Michael Jordan from East Lake Pediatrics in the uh, Palm Harbor and Trinity, Florida areas. And for more information on the products and services that we discussed on this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice, I invite you to log on to our website at www.greenwayhealth.com. And if you have not yet, I invite you to subscribe to our podcast on your platform of choice. And we are on a number of those platforms now. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, you can also find us on Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, FM.Player, SoundCloud, Libsyn, Spotify, and look for more platforms coming soon. This has been another episode of our podcast, Putting Possibility into Practice. I'm Joe Agostinelli, the Social Media Manager at Greenway Health. Thanks for listening.